bad shot. No, bad. Tip. Oh! I am gaming. He is not gaming. <laughs> Good, good. Yes. Yes. Right, right. Good. Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're looking at M Gaming. Now on to the tutorial. Once you've installed M Gaming via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions as well as your effects and your titles. If you skim over any of these, you can get a real-time preview over in your canvas. So you can see we have multiple backgrounds here. We have some different drop zones. So comparisons, uh, some different detail frames, logo, player details. We have multiple freeze frames. So these are really cool. If you've ever seen M freeze frame, they work in the same way. We have several movements, camera movements and details, things like that. Then we have multiple overlay effects. We have miscellaneous different tools such as arrows. We have this bar, circle chart, a counter, just a ton of good stuff like that. And then we have a ton of typography. I mean, we've got a lot of typography in here. So let's just jump right in. The first thing I want to do is just look at our different backgrounds. So why don't we just grab this high tech here and I'm just going to drop that in using W and I'll just drop that at the front of my timeline. So you can see here, it just kind of pops right in. We've got different animations going on over in our inspector. If we want to change any animations in and out, we can change the content position as you can see here on X and Y. Uh, we can change the scale if we would like. And then we have some grain and all kinds of adjustable parameters beneath to really fine tune this look. So this is something that would go really well using, uh, you know, titles or logos, anything like that. We can look at maybe some drop zones here. So why don't we drop our comparison drop zone on, and then you can see that that is going to animate in right with that background really nice. Up in our canvas, we have multiple on-screen controls. So you can see this on-screen control is going to move the entirety of that content on the Y position. And then we have another one that is going to adjust the height of the content. And then another one that is going to adjust the footage position. So you can see that we have the first drop zone and then it moves over to the second drop zone. So again, you can kind of fine tune that as you would like using those on-screen controls. We can go ahead and populate these drop zones. So to do this, we'll open up our library sidebar and then just grab some footage using our drop zone wells there so we're going to click that content and then we can click maybe this content here we will do apply clip and then you can see that it is going to bring that in and we've got that footage happening right there then we've got the footage happening here on the other side and then it closes back out really really cool if we wanted to, you can see that he's kind of cut off there. So in our drop zone pan, drop zone one, we can go on Y and we can just bring that down. And that way he is coming down and we can see him in our frame. So boom, there we go. And again, if you wanted to play around with this, you can do so there. I kind of like it here. We're kind of showing him and then we are revealing her on the other end. So again, it just kind of opens up and then it slides over. You can see there and then boom, we're right back out into our next shot here. So why don't we take a look next at our freeze frames? You can see we have five here. I'm just going to use freeze frame number two. So let me just drop that in on top of our clip. And then you can see here that we have set current frames, choose a frame and then start drawing your Bezier mask. We do have several tutorials specifically for our freeze frame effects. So I do suggest you go and check those out if you want additional information on how to use these. But I'm gonna go ahead and just start drawing my mask here and I'll be back in one second. 
So something else to note as I'm drawing this, you can see that we have an on-screen control here. We can go over in our inspector, we can toggle that off and that way it's not in our way as we're drawing that mask. Now that we've finished our mask, we can go ahead and take a look at how that looks. So really, really cool. Let's go over and we will turn our on-screen controls back on and that way we can just kind of move him over a bit and we can make some changes on our mask if we would like so I'm just going to add a bit of blur here just to soften him up and then again there are so many parameters that are adjustable within these freeze frames I definitely encourage you to go and check out our tutorials that are all about these freeze frames because we need to move quickly on to the next bit of M gaming I can go ahead and add a logo to my drop zone well by opening back up my library sidebar and we will just grab a logo and we can apply the clip and then again, over in our inspector, if I wanted to make changes to where that logo sits on this freeze frame effect, we can do so here. There you go, really cool. Something like that. And then you can see how we're starting on that first clip and then boom, it does some really cool kind of animation, things like that. I'm gonna make it not so soft. It's a little bit too soft there on the blur. There we go, something like that. Boom, really nice. And this is also a great place to add some text and any information like that over to the side if you want. And again, you can move him like all over the place. You can scale him up if you want using your on-screen control. You could turn him. I mean, you can make him go upside down. So uh, really fun, really fun. And I'm so glad that they incorporated this in M Gaming. All right, so now we can go over to our movements. So you can see on this shot here, there's already a little bit of movement, but maybe I want some more. So we've got a background zoom, detail zoom, focus zoom, and then quake like you saw there in the intro. This one is so much fun. So I think I'm gonna just drag this on just so I can show you how it looks. We've got very simple published parameters, animations in and out, position, twist, and vertical. Maybe I want to do a little bit of a focus in on him as well while it's kind of going crazy. So, ah, uh, you know, I'm so mad, I'm so angry, something like that. We can do something like that there. Uh, we can change and we can turn our target off if we want in our frame. That way we're just zooming in on this. Ah, oh, so angry. I think that is such a fun, fun movement. All right, let's continue. We've got overlay effects. We have band, we have colorize. Uh, we have this frame here, really cool. Uh, why don't I just go ahead and grab our frame and I can drag this in on top. Then you can see that there's a very subtle frame happening all around, but if we wanted, we could click and use our on-screen control there to adjust that frame. And then we have over in our inspector. If we wanted to add anything to our drop zone, we can do so here. I'll just grab something really quick. Maybe something back there, or there we go, so that works. And then if we want to adjust that footage beneath, we can do so here. So let's see how that looks. It just kind of pops in. You can see that drop zone in there is kind of popping in alongside it. And again, this is something that's really cool where if you wanted to start adding any additional information, maybe something like a call out uh, that's down there in our tools, we could do so using our on-screen controls. And we're just kind of giving more information about maybe this player, something like that. And then there you go. So again, you know, just have fun with it. All of these work really cohesively together. Um, as far as some of these overlay effects, we've got you know, smoke, we've got these really cool sparks. Uh, we have a pixelate, we have noise, noise and blur. So again, a lot of really cool overlay effects that are all gonna work in the same way. Again, we've got multiple tools there. Uh, this one's really fun, this controller, we can click and drag this in. And again, it's just very simple. It's got some on-screen controls there. If we want to add maybe some text or something beneath. So we've got that, and then we could grab maybe like a lower third and just kind of pick that up and put it over beneath. And these are going to animate together. So check this out. Just kind of boom, boom, right there. 
So what we could end up doing actually is we could let the controller animate in and then it goes over there. Then we've got final match. See, and he's nodding his head in agreement. So there we go. And bam. Yeah, final match. That's right. That's right. He agrees. Over in our inspector, of course, super simple. You can just change your text here. Uh, use any content position tools and then any color or additional color adjustments there beneath. Continuing down in our typography, we've got a lot of really cool stats and things. I really liked using this one. Um, we've got this one here that I really loved. And I used this one actually, so I'm gonna grab this and I want you to see how that kind of looks. So it just kind of brings in that information there. I used this in conjunction with our movements and I did the background zoom. So I did the background zoom beneath my stats and then we can use that background zoom and we can kind of place that footage however we want. Something like that, really, really cool. Yeah, that works. So then we've got, boom, it just kind of brings in and then there you go, we've got our stats and we've got all of our text that we can make changes here if we want to populate these drop zones with you know different people that we're showing that information if we want to move the text around you can simply click and drag that wherever you want so really really cool and there you go so that is how you quickly use a lot of the typography and a lot of the tools that are there in our titles now let's come over and check out our effects here so when you have a clip highlighted you can skim over these effects and it is going to show you how that is going to look on that footage so that frame is super awesome i love that one uh then we've got a frame down at the bottom so you can see like we've got player one uh we've got this other frame as well and then this one and it's just framing that up really really nicely as it is so say i've got some gameplay footage something like this going on and i want to put that in on top so we see that that is what she's playing so i will drag this frame three on top and then i can use my on-screen control and i can move that around just a little bit and then over in our inspector, I could just turn off player one or I could leave that on so that we're indicating that she is player one. And then there you go. That adds just kind of a cool frame. You know, it just brings it in. We're kind of showing that gameplay footage there and then it animates right back out. So that is how you use effects. Jump over to our transitions. And then of course, with our transitions, just skim over and you'll get a real time preview in your canvas as to how those are gonna look. There are going to be 10 transitions in total. So you can see we've got several. We've got some that have some drop zones where you can add a logo. Really, really cool. I'm just gonna pick up our cartoon blast. I think that one's a lot of fun. I'm gonna click that and drag that in between my two clips here. Then you can see here, we've got our stats and our background. I'm gonna bring that back just so that they're already gone. I wanna bring my teaser over and boom. We have that and then that pops right up. In our inspector for this one, very simple on-screen controls for content scale. So you can see here that we've got our scale. We can adjust our colors if we would like for our kind of cartoon blast and then different glow intensity, stuff like that. If I wanted to replace this, I could simply just click and drag on and just replace it very simply. There you go, another really neat transition. And then one more, why not? Speed slide, I really like this one. It's pretty cool, it just kind of slides over really quickly and super, super simple. We go left or we go right and there you have it. So once again, thank you for checking out this tutorial on M Gaming. This is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.